Hi guys. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Hi, teacher. Pretty good. Pretty good. It's good. And you? I'm good. Thanks for asking. I feel much better today, actually, because I was going through some um, health difficulties. I mean, I was sick during the previous week. And uh, even when I was sick, I was able to um, give the class, deliver the class. I don't know if you noticed, but I was so sick. <laughs> yeah. Do you notice? Do you notice that I was so sick that, that week? The whole week, actually, from Monday to Friday. Lo notaron. A ver si me entendieron que dije. <laughs> okay, Alexandra says, I'm working now. <clears throat> okay, guys, um, we are going to start today class. And uh, do you remember what was our previous topic? If you are not using your microphone, by the way, please turn it off, okay? Putting in mute mode, just in case you want to participate, go ahead and turn it on. And then I'm going to give you the opportunity for you to express yourself, okay? Great, um, let's see, do you remember what was our a topic from our previous class. No? Imperative, was imperative. Imperative form. Imperatives, great. Okay, now let's do something. I'm going to type here on the Zoom's chat and I'm going to ask you to give me some example of um, positive and negative imperatives. Let me double check something. I just want to make sure the class is being recorded. Yes, it is being recorded. Thank you. Positive and negative imperatives. Okay, there you go. I would like to listen to some positive imperatives first, and then we're going to move to the negative imperatives. If you want to participate, just raise your hand, please, and I'm going to give you the opportunity for you to talk. Ready? Already, I'm going to listen to Astrid. Astrid, go ahead, please. Thank you. Um, not smoke. Don't smoke. Um, yes. Don't smoke. If don't you go, smoke. if you go to a hotel, they are going to advise you not to smoke in the hotel. Sometimes there are smoking and non-smoking rooms, but sometimes they really ask you not to smoke, okay? Cool, let's listen to somebody else. Raise your hands if you want to participate, just positive and imperatives, positive imperatives. And then we're going to move to the negative ones. Positive imperatives. The one you gave me was a negative imperative. Don't smoke. Okay, but I need positive imperatives. Jose Alejandro, do you have one idea or example? Yes. Um, positive I imperative. Have, mm -hmm. um, un ejemplo suyo primero. I'm sorry? Podría dar un ejemplo primero para ver si no me equivoco. Of of course, like for example, if you are walking down the, the stairs or downstairs, they ask you uh, to watch your steps, okay? Watch your steps. If you <laughs> are going to drive, uh, police officers, they ask you to put your seatbelt. Do you know what's the meaning of seatbelt? When uh, you are yes. going to drive, <laughs> They ask you to put your seat belt. Is that clear? Ah, okay, yes, uh -huh. yes. That can be one positive imperative. Put your seat belt. Mm -hmm. uh, um, well, 
because I, I tried in my car uh, what uh, the police uh, stopped my my run. He, he, he asked me um, the I am the push in the world. Mm, okay. ¿Te pareció? Yeah, and um, do you get a ticket because you were not using your belt, mm -hmm. your seat belt? In Spanish? No, English. No, you should, I don't you should be, you should I, be I able to, to get the main ideas. Si te, oh. si te pusieron una esquela cuando te detuvieron, do you get a ticket? Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Thank well, you. <laughs> okay. Anybody else? Any other idea for positive imperatives? Positive imperatives. Yeah. Uh -huh. Gabriel? Can be, um, example, a care glass door. Mm, one more time. A, take care, a glass door. Take care, glass door. What do you mean in Spanish? Eh, como tenga cuidado, puerta de vidrio. Eh, cuando, cuando, o como, ah, como para tocar con el vidrio, ya. Got it, got it. Glass door, be careful. Okay. Alrighty, thank you. And you got the idea. Great job, great job. Okay. Okay, any any other volunteer? Berosli, go ahead. Uh, uh, for example, before, I'm sorry, but I was need to interrupt you. Before to continue, I just have a few cameras on. If you have your cameras uh, working, please turn them off. Turn your cameras, I'm sorry, turn them on. My mistake. Turn your cameras on. Okay. If you have them off, turn them on. Enciendan las cámaras porque es un requerimiento de la institución. Solo si tienen algún problema, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, Alexandra ya me dijo que está trabajando. Entonces, por eso solo va a estar escuchando. Pero si la tienen encendidita, ¿verdad? Por favor, enciéndanla. A todos los veo bonitos y a todas las veo bonitas. Entonces, no tengan pena. Yo también me veo bonito. <risa> Así que, te, bueno, tengamos la autoestima alta. <risa> Le voy a contar una, una pequeña pausa, ¿verdad? Una pequeña pausa comercial. Piense que mi mamá es, era piel clara, ya lamentablemente ya no la tengo. Entonces, cuando yo estaba pequeño siempre decía, ¿y ese es el niño que usted cuida? Y yo, no soy su hijo. <risa> Entonces, pero igual, al principio, cuando uno está adolescente es como que... Um, uh, no, 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 no quiere aceptar, ¿verdad? Su, como su forma de ser o su piel, etc. Pero en el ya camino, ni modo, dije, ah, soy morenito, pero gracioso. Y no me importó ya. <risa> pero sí era bien chistoso. Y ese, ese niño, usted lo cuida. Y yo le decía, no, ella es mi mamá. Pero, o sea, no nos parecíamos para nada. Era bien clara. Es como que, como que un ejemplo, como que Carlos eh, dijera, es tu papá. Y, o sea, miren, Carlos, es piel clara. Y yo, piel morena, o sea, nada que ver. Entonces, oh. hace algo así pasaba. Así que, pero igual, ustedes tengan la autoestima alta y enciendan la cámara y digan, soy bonito, soy bonita, etc. Ok. All right. Any other volunteer? Así le decían una cuñada. Hasta se está ahogando. ¿Quién se está ahogando? Teacher, yo soy la volunteer. Ok, I'm I sorry, pero Osli. <laughs> ¿Cómo okay, se dice ahead. cabello rizado? Uh, you can say wavy hair, curly hair. hair curly. Wavy hair, curly. Es que yo estuve oh. con unos gringos. Ay, perdón, no, no son gringos, pero hablan inglés, son de Reino Unido y Reino Unido. Nottingham. Ajá. Uh -huh. Reino Unido. Sí, verdad. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y todos hablan solo en inglés. 
Ay, que fue tan complicado con la traductora, pero... Y me decían, ¿Corley? Corley. 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 Ah, por Colocho. Corley. Ah, oh. antes no me gustaba hoy, sí. Uh -huh. Ok. Great. Let's listen to Verosley. Thank you. Teacher, we are beautiful. We are beautiful, of course. We are beautiful. Miren, como humanos uh, now... tenemos, perdón, tenemos eh, virtudes y defectos. Entonces, uh, aprendan a conocerse. Conozcan sus virtudes, conozcan sus defectos, pero amen más sus virtudes que sus defectos. <laughs> Eso es bueno. Ok, Perosli, your examples, please. Thank you. Positive. Positive, imperative. Are the, um, the four is bear, plus, plus, mm -hmm. complement. Ok. For example, yes. Uh, go to the bed. Ah, go to bed. Yes, that's take, positive. Take a shower. Take a shower. Uh, yes. Eat you, eat you, eat my food. <laughs> drink water. Eat your food. Drink eat water. Your food. Yes. There are people who drink, don't drink beer. water. Drink beers. Don't drink Open beers. <laughs> Just in Christmas. <laughs> Close the door. Close the door, yeah. May you. Thank you, Berosli. Thank you. An applause for Berosli. She gave me a lot of them. <laughs> Great. Now, let's listen to somebody else. Um, I want you to give me the most common ones, which are the negative imperatives. Negative imperatives. Volunteers, please. You gave me positive imperatives. Hi, no, teacher. Positive Hi, teacher. Hi, Amalia. Uh, Remember, raise your hands. <laughs> okay, let's, <leave. laughs> let's give the, uh, the opportunity to Amalia. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's not study early. Let's not study early. Are you sure? Okay. Early. Uh -huh. uh, let's study early. Okay. Let's study early. Uh -huh. Positive. It's okay? Yep. Give me other, okay. another one. Uh, let them work. Let them work. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Don't interrupt them. That can be and, one and, negative. And line, line yellow, the factory. I know. Cuando uno no pasa una línea amarilla, no hay que pasarla. Oh, okay. Oh. Don't cross the line. Don't, oh, don't cross don't, the don't, yellow don't, line. Don't, don't cross the yellow line. The yellow. Yes. Okay. The yellow, yellow line. Line. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Alrighty, let's continue. Give me another negative imperative. Um, un consejo para José Alejandro Flores. No te preocupes, José. Estás en nivel 3 ahorita. Yo recuerdo cuando estaba en nivel 3. Este, sí, creo que me pasaba lo mismo que algunos de ustedes. No entendía. Pero eso no, no te tiene que frustrar. Todos pasamos por un proceso de aprendizaje. A mí me costó. Yo recuerdo que, yo recuerdo que mi, mis compañeros de, de la universidad, eh, la mayoría ya había ido a otras instituciones, ¿verdad? Hijos de mami y papi, que los pusieron a academias antes de ir a la universidad. Y ya cuando llegaban a la universidad, ellos ya ellos entablaban una conversación. Solo iban por el título. Pero uh, hubimos varios que empezamos de cero. Entonces... Algunos se frustraban y decían, ah, no, yo nunca voy a aprender. Y yo no me frustraba. Yo era como que me autorretaba y decía, bueno, si ellos aprendieron, yo también. Me costó porque tuve compañeros que al año ya ellos ya hablaban bastante y, y era así como que, y este, ¿a dónde compró el chip, verdad? <ríe> Pero este, no me frustré, me puse al nivel de ellos. Al final... 
ya cuando llegamos, ya iba por mi tercer año, segundo o tercer año, yo ya hablaba igual que ellos. Y todos eran como que, bueno, me, te admiro porque nunca empezaste de cero, ¿verdad? Entonces, A los tres años. no, como entre, yo empecé a hablar porque es que tu cerebro se, tu cerebro se, se cambia, de, ajá, se adapta al Así, idioma. pongo otro. Yo empecé, yo empecé a soñar en inglés cuando ya iba como en mi segundo año en la universidad. Ya mis sueños eran en inglés y recuerdo la primera vez que soñé en inglés, yo saltaba de alegre contándole a mi mamá. Porque todo el sueño había sido en inglés, yo entendía y la otra persona me entendía y bien chivo. Pero es cuando ya tu cerebro se ha adaptado. Entonces, y desde entonces, eh, ya no dejé de, de practicar. Es un, es un aprendizaje, tiene que ser según uh, estilo Un de hábito. vida. Así que un hábito, correcto, esa es la palabra, un hábito. No te preocupes, todos pasamos por, por el mismo proceso. Todo es un proceso, ¿ok? Y estoy, Thank you. yo estoy claro, perdón, Fisher, eh, Mm -hmm. que entre más eh, adulto es uno, cuesta más por la carga eh, laboral, familiar y todo, ¿verdad? O sea, Sí. el, el tiempo realmente tiene que ser bien aprovechado, ¿verdad? Porque entre más mayor es uno, bueno, en mi caso se me complica porque mi trabajo es bien absorbente, no de un horario, pero sí mentalmente es bien, es complicado. Sí, pero no se preocupe, eh, eh, el, Yo que tengo el, idioma, 40 años. el idioma es como una esponja, usted la esponja absorbe, ¿verdad? Entonces así ustedes van a ir absorbiendo el conocimiento, y cuando menos piense, van a hablar hasta mejor que yo. Ok, let's continue. Negative imperatives. Two more volunteers to give me negative imperatives. Miriam, go ahead. Miriam, you are mute. Okay, go ahead. Yes. Okay. Uh, Berosli. For example, keep the keep that. Keep the sil silent. Keep in silence. Okay. Keep Is that negative? Silence. Is that negative? I would say don't speak It's too loud. Don't speak too loud. That would be a negative one. Okay. Thank you. Now, let's move to uh, today's class, which is going to be related to Places and things, places and things. You are going to tell me what things are you able to find in one specific place. I'm going to type it on the uh, Zoom chat. Places and things. Places and, and things. Okay. Great. I'm going to share my computer screen. Once you can see it, just let me know, please. Can you see it or not yet? Yes, I get. Not yet. Not yet. Not, not yet. yet. Okay. Yes, it's true. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Yes, now, great. Let me go ahead and read. Let me go ahead and read the places for you to know. Let me move this. This one over here because it is like affecting me. All right, there you go. Uh, there you had the first one. Okay, these are some places. Actually, yesterday we were like practicing related to imperatives in different places. Okay, positive and negative. However, today we're going to just check the, we're going to check just the places and what you are able to find in that specific place. For example, I'm going to read just the places. 
está lista o lista solo va a estar Si no están ¿verdad? usando el micrófono, pónganlo en mute. Y el pescadito. Solo hay tres para saltar de la lista. Y ahí te quedan los demás ahí. Si no están usando el micrófono, <risa> pónganlo en mute. Thank you. Ok, let me just read the places and then you're going to tell me what things you can find in those places. The first one is the zoo, restaurant, supermarket, bank, bar, church, pharmacy, petrol station, or you can also say gas station, theater, cinema, bus station, hotel, playground, factory, farm, library, court, gym, hum, mosque, clothing store, jail, hospital, and flea market. Okay, great. Now, I'm going to select some of you guys and you're going to tell me what things you are able to find in those places. So, for example, I have Carlos, Carlos Enrique. Hi, tell me, hi there. What things are you able to find at the zoo? No. What things are you able to find at the zoo? ¿Qué cosas encontrás en un zoológico? Eh, eh, animal. Animals. Eh, cages. Animal. Do you know what the meaning yeah. of cages? Snake. Cages. Cage? cages. Cage. Do you know what the meaning of cages? Jaulas. Okay. Cages. Uh -huh. What else? Trees. Uh, artificial lakes. Artificial lakes. Uh -huh. Lake. What else? Uh -huh. uh, monkey. Parks. Park. Animals. Uh -huh. What else? Animal. Uh, food. Three. Food. Uh, berry crop. Three. Um, Meat. Many people. Signals. Okay. Food. The, the tree. Ah, uh, trees. Ah, uh, trees. And water. Yes. What else? Um, childs. Children. Childrens. Trees. Benches. Do you know what the meaning of benches? Avengers. Benches. No. Bancos. Benches. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's listen to Alexandra. What okay. are you able to find at the restaurant? Um, Alexandra. Oh. <laughs> Alexandra? Amalia? Amalia? Areli? Okay, okay, teacher. The mute. Okay. Uh -huh. And the restaurant the, is mm -hmm. not coffee or coffee. Okay, you can find coffee. A child. Children. A children, child, table. Tables. Dishes. Uh, cook, uh, no. Ch kitchen. Okay, yes. Kitchen. The kitchen. Ki the kitchen. Uh, ay, ¿cómo se llama? Bar, uh, bartender. Okay. Uh, yeah. Pero está el otro que se llama, de días en todos los cafés. Okay, someone that can help her. Bar. Bar what? Bar. Bar. 
Beverage. Beverage. Uh, matching the tarjeta de crédito. Okay, the post. The post. Okay, thank you. Astrid, you know, what I... things are you able to find at the supermarket? Um, Broad to hair. Mm -hmm. Broad to teeth. Um, meat. Yep. Fruit. Vegetables. Good. Vegetables. Um, and other some things. Makeup. Makeup, mm -hmm. medicine, 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 yes, um, candies, candies, cereal, cereal. Okay, Milena, what are you able to find at the bank? Money, money, mm -hmm. <laughs> what else? And computers, computers, chairs. A Chair, lot of chairs. Phones. Calculators. Curious. ATM. ATM. And. Security words. The sec security. What? Security guards. ATMs. Mm hmm and yes. secretary secretaries yeah um i think just that atm okay what else alarms alarms okay great mm -hmm. now let's see media what are you able to find at the church. Um, the table. Tables. Mm -hmm. right. Shared. Flowers. Flowers. Lamps. Microphones. Microphone, Pictures. yes. Pictures. T-shirts. Okay. Sonnets. Sonnets. Sorry? How do you say this Uh, Let's see. Some. No. Uh -uh. How do you say it? Stereo. Stereo. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Now, let me go ahead and share the platform. We're going to work on the platform a little bit. Once you can see it one more time, just let me know, please. Okay. Mister. Yes. Mister. Mm -hmm. Nelson dice que tiene problemas con la conexión. Ah, okay. Thank you for letting me know. Okay. Now, I'm going to listen to Berosley. Berosley, can you please read the objective for today's lesson? Oh, okay. By the end mm -hmm. this class, you will learn vocabulary for stores and other stores. place. Mm -hmm. Stores and mm -hmm. other place and these goods where you can get different things. Okay. Thank you. Now, let me go ahead and play the video. He says vocabulary, places, and things. So, we were discussing a little bit just for you to have an idea, all right? There you go. 
If you can listen to it, just let me know, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for stores and other places and discuss where you can get different things. Let's get started by listening and practicing. One, you can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Two, you can buy bread at a supermarket. Three, you can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. Four, you can buy gasoline at a gas station. Five, you can buy a sandwich at a restaurant. Six, you can buy stamps at a post office. Seven, you can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. Eight, you can buy traveler's checks at a bank. What I would like for you to do next is to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. For example, you can pay bills at a bank. You can buy shoes at a department store. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, thank you. Let me go ahead and continue with the platform. And once you can see it, just let me know, please. Alrighty. Can you see it or not yet? Not yet. Not Oh, yeah, yeah, not yet. Okay. Yes. Cool. Great, great. There you have, and it says instructions. Listen to Anderson family's conversation to answer the questions. Okay. If you wish, you can go ahead and take notes in order to answer it. There you go. Mm -hmm. I'm up to the bar store. It's still loading. Sorry about that. Just give me some seconds. The first question he says, where is Jean going to buy the swimsuit that she needs. And there you have three places, at the supermarket, at the department store, at the beach. Second question, what does, store. what does mom need the from store. the supermarket? Department store. Groceries, clothes, cookies, for dessert. What does the need from the drugstore? A swimsuit? Cookies, aspirin. Next question. Where is Mike going to go with his dad? First one, to the movies, to the drugstore, to get a newspaper, to the park. Now, let's see if we are able to listen to it. Yes, Gabriel. Teacher, uh, mm -hmm. to listen this message, I expand the the arrow. Yes, mm -hmm. I. Okay, and then you were able to listen to it. <laughs> okay, veamos si funciona, because normally I just click on uh, on this part on this button and then I'm able to listen to. It. But let's see if it works. Thank you for the advice. It's loading. I'm so sorry.
Por eso es que veo que Carlos no está sudando, tiene aire atrás de él. Y nosotros estamos así. Póngase un ventilador. ¿Cómo se dice ventilador en inglés? The fan. Well, you use the fan. Use your fan. Page 87. Yes. Exercise 2. Listen. Okay, can you listen? ¿Pueden escuchar? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Great. Awesome. Let's do it. Page 87. Exercise. ¿Qué nos pasó? Ok, let's wait some seconds. As two, listening. I need a new swimsuit. Part A. Listen to the Anderson family's conversations. What do they need? Where are they going to buy them? Complete the chart. One. Jean, are you going to go to the beach with us tomorrow? Yes, but I need a new swimsuit. I'm going to go to a department store this afternoon. Maybe I can find one. Good. Can I go with you? I need to get some things too. Two. Are you gonna look for some clothes, Mom? Oh, no. I'm gonna go to the supermarket. What do you need? I just need some cookies for dessert tomorrow. We're gonna take a picnic lunch to the beach. Oh, good. Can you get chocolate cookies? Sure. Three. What's wrong? I have a terrible headache. Oh, that's too bad. Do we have any aspirin? I can't find any in the house. No, we don't. Sorry. Hmm. I need some right now. I'm gonna go to the drugstore and get some. Four. Mom, let's go to a movie tonight. Good idea, Mike. But what movie? I don't know. We need to look in a newspaper. Well, your father is going to the drugstore right now. Go with him and get a newspaper. Oh, great. Dad? Dad? Okay. So, the first question. Carlos, it says, what is Jean going to buy the swimsuit that she needs? At the department store. At the department store. Thank you. Now, eh, Ale, Griselda, what does mom need from the supermarket? The <laughs> uh, cookies for the for theirs. Cookies for the third. Okay, Amalia, what does dad need okay. from the drugstore? Cookies and uh, aspirin. Aspirin. Okay. Thank you. Now, let's listen to somebody else. Drop so aspirin. Nelson, where's Mike uh, going to go with his dad? Uh-huh. Nelson tiene dificultades, teacher. Oh, sorry, I forgot it. Heriberto, go ahead. Okay, um, to the drugstore to the get a newspaper. To get a newspaper. Okay, let's see. Okay, great job. All right, let's continue. I'm going to read it. It says, by the end of the le by the end of this class, you will earn you will learn to sound natural when saying compound nouns. Let's listen to the compound nouns. Pronunciation compound nouns. Before moving forward, what do you understand by a compound noun? What do you understand? What is a compound noun? 
nombre compuesto. For example, gas station. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a noun composed by two words. For example, gas and a station, gas station. Coffee and shop, coffee shop. Post coffee shop. and office, post office. Drug and a store, drug store. Super and market, supermarket. Book and a store, bookstore. Department and a store, department and a store. Okay, those are compound nouns. Let's uh, take a look at them. Go ahead. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to sound natural when expressing compound nouns. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Compound nouns. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop. Drugstore. Supermarket. Bookstore. Department store. I would like to start off by explaining what compound nouns are. A noun equals a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that you can see around you is a noun. Compound nouns are a combination between two words that make up a new noun. For example, the compound noun gas station. Gas the word by itself is a noun, station is a noun. Together they make up a different noun. Now that we understand what compound nouns are, I would like to dig into stressing these compound nouns. Stressing words in English is a big topic. However, in this class we're going to make it short and simple and stick to compound nouns only. So the simple rule that we can follow is Whenever we have a compound noun, we usually stress the first word or the first noun. This means that we're going to say the first word louder than the rest. Let me read these compound nouns again. I would like for you to practice with me as well. Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Now it's your turn to practice. What I would like for you to do next is to practice these compound nouns and record yourself using the website bookaroo.com. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Alrighty. Now, let me uh, go ahead and show you some of the most common compound nouns, okay, that we have in English. If you can see the computer screen, just let me know, please. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Good, good. Right. Now, let's see. I want to listen to some of you. Okay, I'm going to select your names, actually. What happened to this? Okay. <gasps> okay. Now, let's see. Gabriel, read the first one, please. The first compound now. Anymore. Yes. Any and more. That's a one word. Two words together, and then you uh, create a compound noun. Great. Jenny Marisol, next. Erling. Erline, yeah. Leticia. Airport. 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 Claudia. 
Claudia? Aircraft. 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 Marcos. Marcos. Perosley. Antuf. Antuf. Hola. Hello. Archer. Next. Uh, boyfriend. Boyfriend. Carlos. Barroso. Next. Carlos. Battlefield. 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 Jose Alejandro. Battlefield. Background. Miriam. Come back. Come back. Arely. Carpet. Carpet. Lillian. Cowboy. Cowboy. Okay. Cowboy. Uh, next, Nelson. I'm sorry, Griselda. Griselda, you are mute. Cardboard. Chopstick. Tiffany, next. Chopstick. No. Chopstick. The next one. Cardboard. Classmate. No me digan que no me están siguiendo. Classmate. No están poniendo atención. Elisa, next. Leticia. Si me ayuda ese, si no sé cómo se pronuncia. There the ball. There the ball. Okay, continue with the next one. Dish. Uh huh. Milena, next one. Dishwasher. Dishwasher. Okay. Thank you. And let's continue. Okay, Leticia, continue. Friendship. And then? Uh, friendship. Next. Um, no, no sé cómo se pronuncia esa. Gentleman. Gentleman. Leliana. Goldfish. Goldfish. Crisalda. Grandfather. Grandfather. Grandmother. Jenny. Grandmother. Grandmother, Gabriel. Grand, grand shopper, grass shopper, sorry. Grass, grass shopper, Amalia. Greenhouse. Greenhouse. Uh, Leticia. Handcuff. 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 Yes. Next. Jose Alejandro. Lifespan. 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 Carlos. Moonlight. Moonlight. Miriam. Moonlight. Myself. Myself. Adele. Not yet. Not, Not good. good. Liliana. Liliana. In uh -huh. newspaper? Don't, you're not paying attention. Newspaper. No, it's your name. Sorry. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> it's in newspaper. Mm-hmm. Erica. Nobody. Nobody. Okay. Marcos. 
onset. Onset. I'm going to read the next one because I think you cannot see it. Upside. Okay. Miriam, next. Sell food. Seafood. Elisa, Maria. Their food. food. Seashore. Seashore. Yeah. Leticia. Leticia. Astrid. Seafood. Astrid. Seafood. Ah, no me están poniendo atención. Sí, escuché el onza y el Sky, outside. Skyscraper. Oh, ok. Mm -hmm. Ok. Uh, Milena. Miriam. Sunrise. Sunrise. Alisa. Jenny. It's not one. It's snowboard. Gabriel. Gabriel. Sub east. South east. And the last one, Jose Roberto. Sterling. Starlight. Start life. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Now let's do something. Since the previous week we were learning some, um, I mean, the structure of going to, we're going to use the compound nouns. For example, I'm going to go to the book store. Bookstore. Okay, if you see book in a store, that's one compound noun, one word completed by two words. Okay, now I want you to type on the chat, please type what you are going to do. I'm going to go to, or I'm going to eat to, and then we're going to read it. Ready? Go ahead, type it, please. Uh huh. Okay, Jen, uh, Jenny says, I'm going to go to the coffee shop. Thank you. Next, Jose, I'm going to buy a book in the bookstore. Thank you. Next. I'm going to gas station. I'm going to buy gas at the gas station. Great. Station. But honestly, I'm going to go at the gas station. Next. Okay, Gabriel is going to go to the drugstore. Excellent. Lillian, I'm going to go to the cinema. Mm -hmm. Next. Okay, Nelson says, I'm going to go to the bank. Liliana, I'm going to go to the cinema. Amalia, I'm going to go to the zoo. But bank and zoo, those are not compound nouns. Quiero compound que me escriban, noun. uh -huh, quiero mm. que me escriban compound nouns. No Nombres compound. compuestos de dos palabras. Por ejemplo, bookstore. Gas station, drugstore, okay. Beer store. 
Mm -hmm. Those are compound nouns. Elisa says, I'm going to go to the supermarket. Super and market, that's a compound noun. Jose Alejandro, I'm going to go to the airport. That's a compound noun. Jose I'm Alberto, going to, I'm going to buy some I'm going tomatoes. to, mm -hmm. to pet store. Pet store. I'm going to go to the pet store. Jenny says, I'm going to go to the supermarket. Uh, Leticia, I'm going to go to eat seafood. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Leticia, I'm going to go to the restaurant. Amalia says, I'm going to go to the supermarket. Erika, I'm going to go to the gas station. Martinez, Stephanie, I'm going to go to the beach. Beach no es un compound noun. Liliana, I'm going to go to the coffee shop. Great. Miriam, I'm going to go to the coffee shop too. Yesenia, I'm going to go to the park. Park is not a compound noun. Nelson, I'm going to go to the post office. Okay. Arely, I'm going to go to the, to I'm going to go to the airport on vacation, you can say. Jose Alejandro, I'm going to go to the airline. Excellent. Marcos, I'm going to go to the police station, okay? Jean, uh, you are a gentleman, okay, compound noun. Miriam, I'm going to go to the drugstore, okay? Jenny, I'm going to see my grandparents, grand and parents, okay? Okay, Verosli, I'm going to Fair Station. Okay. Uh, parking lot. Liliana, I'm going to go to the parking lot. Alexandra, I'm going to go to the bus station. Okay, excellent job. Great job, guys. Alexandra says, I'm going to go to the bus station. Leticia, I'm going to go to the gas station too. Marcos, my cousin is a firefighter. Yay, compound now. I'm going to see my grandfather. Okay, Claudia, library is not a compound noun. You can say bookstore, for example. Jenny, I'm going to read a newspaper. News and paper, that's a compound noun. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you guys for your participations. Great job. Uh, let's give a bunch of bunch of applause to everybody. Great, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I'm going to give you one minute. If you have questions, ask. One minute to ask questions. Bien, ¿qué significaba todo ese cuadro en español? ¿Cuál cuadro? Es que acabamos de ver de palabras compuestas. Tú diste la respuesta, son palabras compuestas. Exacto, son palabras que se componen de dos palabras. ¿Sí? Por ejemplo, mm -hmm. book en store son dos palabras diferentes que forman una sola palabra, bookstore. Gas en station. Ahí tenés gas y tenés estación. Entonces, si unís gas station, ese es un compound noun. Todas las palabras que son compuestas eh, de dos o más palabras, es un compound noun. ¿Se entiende? Yes. yes. Por ejemplo, uh -huh. cuando nosotros decimos que de café. Uh -huh. <ríe> Coffee shop. Cuando nosotros, ah, ah, pero cuando queremos decir cibercafé, o sea, que no solo vamos a tomarnos el café, sino que vamos a ir a navegar y todo eso. Yes. Ok. ¿Any other question? No more questions. Vaya. Nos quedamos acá antes. entonces. Si no han cenado, buen provecho. Gracias por conectarse. No, no olviden eh, avanzar con la plataforma, con la plataforma. And see you tomorrow. Good night and goodbye. Good night. 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 Good